Oh, you YouTube got this machine uh, yesterday. <laughs> this is my um, kebab machine come rotisserie. It looks like a kebab machine, doesn't it? What I've got on there right now is last night's leftovers. Ooh, last night's leftovers, yeah. I ordered uh, some chicken balls, chips, but I also ordered curry because because of the distance and because of the prices and everything else. It was better to buy two meals in one. So I bought these with, from, uh, with another meal. So these are getting used today. So I decided I'm going to heat them up this way rather than try to put them in the microwave because when you when you put these in the microwave oh my god they're horrible but this way I think it'll work a treat actually so they're slowly getting browned but you can see that the they are heating up well the grease is coming out of it or the fat or whatever you want to call it is coming out of it and it seems to be doing well. I've still got to do a nice kebab yet. I've got to get some lamb meats and I'm going to try a, a I'm going to make a proper lamb kebab with this. Because on this one it's an upright but there's no there's no gates on the side of it, there's no doors around it, nothing else. So yes you can get it done. I've seen people using these on the internet but the funny part is they get a they get a normal um, kitchen knife, a large one, and they're giving it all that with a blunt knife, and you can see it rattling these parts around there. Well, I'll be using my old faithful electric knife. <laughs> well, I think. Yeah, the only bad part about these nowadays is when I was in the 90s, like in the 80s and 90s, when you had one of these things, you had a rod sticking out there and the thing actually turned each stick as you was going around so it would knock it a notch. It would turn it to, uh, around every now and again. But with these, well, they're awkward because they don't turn. So the outside always gets a better going than the inside. But you can see in the inside there it is eating up really well. Really nice. These might be better than when I got them last night actually because they'll be more, 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 more nicer I think. Because they'll be a bit more drier, a bit more crunchier. And, let, let, and the, any dough that was left in there, because you know what they're like, they always leave all like this chewy bit in there. That might be better now, because it's been heated up. The heat of this thing is amazing. I'm, what, half a foot away from it, there with my hand. And you can feel the heat. If you put your back of your hand there, I'm half a foot away, easy half a foot away, you start... Look, it's roasting me and burning me in. So yeah, that's got some bloody power. This one is 2,000 watts. For anybody that don't know, it is less, this is still less than your oven, what you use on an electric oven. Or in some cases, it's still less than a kettle. Yes, I know you use it longer than a kettle. A kettle don't last very long. But your normal average um, electric hub there, and that one's a and, and that one's a magnet uh, a magnetic one. That is like phew, ridiculous. So that makes no odds to me really. It's not wasting electricity; it's using electricity. But look, it's that there. There's no, there was no grease in there, no grease added. This is what's coming out of these. 
right now. So it's doing a great job. Now, I think they're going to taste even better than what there was when I got them. And these are called chicken balls from the Chinese shop. It's what it is, it's nice chunks of chicken breast in batter, basically. They call them chicken balls, and I'll tell you what. For the price you pay for them, they're well worth buying. Well, yeah, it's certainly getting that like a good roasting, and you can see the fat dripping off. So it's more healthy at this way, I suppose, if we're gonna heat it up like these. As long as I heat the chicken up hot enough inside if you rise I know you some people will say you can't reheat chicken you can as long as it's hot enough if you hit like if you reheat chicken and it's not really hot then you're running the risk of salmonella or something like that Yeah, but this thing is cooking really good. Like I said, the only disappointment nowadays with these things is, like I said, when I was, when in the 90s, 80s and 90s, these parts here, they used to rotate. Each one used to rotate as it was cooking. So you got an all even over coating of heat. Don't know what anybody in the UK thinks of the weather today, but it is terrible where I live. There's a storm up here, it's hailing, it's snowing, it's raining, you can't make it bloody mind up. Wind ain't going in one direction, it's going in all directions, and it's a gale. It's really, really, really bad. So I thought, well, I'm going to have some time in. Yeah, right, anyway. I'll let you go for now, but I thought I'd just show you that. I know it's not fantastic, but God, you want you want you want a barbecue? Oh, that's the thing to do it with. This is not a little thing. There's my hand down there. You can see it's a, it's quite tall. It just about fits underneath my unit there. So it is quite large. I would say you could put two. <coughs> Hang on. I would say you can put two medium chickens on that spade on there and cook them. So yeah, it's really, it's much better. It, it, for distance, it's more better. Controllability, well, that hot, that heat there will not dissipate. When it reaches a certain temperature, it will turn the element off then it cools down it'll go back on again but it ain't moved for the last five minutes has it anyway so I've got the oven gloves on now because I'm going to take the skewers out <coughs> see what they're like oh they're, wow yeah hot those are hot 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 I think I use a fork <laughs> Yeah, I'll spoon one of them bloody two. Yeah, oh, uh, turn that on a little bit. Let's get this one around there. Hang on a minute. Yes, yeah, so I've, I've already eaten, I think it's one or two, I can't remember, last night, so it's good. Now, let's see what the score is when I find my knife. I'm 
pork and now you'll see what they're like you can see they're piping out inside and they're quite nice when you think about it yeah now I'll just check because I don't want to burn my mouth out but I'm going to check first make sure they're right Oh no 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 oh, fuck no Yeah they're very us Yeah they are very very hot Obviously They need to go over the top now to, to make them a bit nicer so we'll put the curry sauce on what we had last night and there's only one way to rejuve that that's by putting hot water into it so there you go my dinner for today curry sauce and chicken balls oh my god Yeah, really nice. Alright, catch you later. Bye.